Hi there paint shoppers, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. What this one is going to cover is edit selection. I'm doing it because the previous version I did seemed to have screwed people up and it's causing them untold amounts of grief and uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it without adding anything in like history palettes or anything like that. We're just going to go straight through it from beginning to end, done, and you'll know exactly what to do because it's a great one. It's just like the uh, quick mask in Photoshop. It gives you a lot of power. You can, go in of it, you can go into it, you can come out of it, you can check it, you can go back in, you can erase mistakes, all kinds of cool things. So it starts up here with Edit Selection in the Selection menu right here. Click on that. What it does is it throws this black layer on top of your original. You got to have the uh, foreground color right here is white and you got to get your paintbrush. Okay. Now when I paint on here, it's making this little masky thing and you can see it's all red. And that's the part now that's been part of the selection. So I'm not going to do the whole thing at that size. That's too small. So I'm just going to press the Alt key, drag my brush down, make it bigger. Okay, now this is Paint Shop Pro. It could go very slowly. But we're going to get as much done as we can quickly. And I'll get up as close to the edge as I can without going outside the edge. So everything that's red is now part of the selection. And when we go out of, paint, or out of Edit Selection, what you have is a cool marching ant selection. And it makes life really much easier. Come right up to the edge. I'm not going to worry too much about making mistakes, although I'll show you how to take care of them because I do make a lot of them. Okay, so we've got the major part of it done. If I go up here to Edit Selections and turn that off, yeah, there's it. We've got the marching ants. Kind of neat. Okay, let's go back and get back in here. Now I'm going to work on Tabby's head. This is Tabitha, by the way. And Tabitha, meet all the Paint Shop Pro users. Uh, Tabitha was sitting in this uh, waiting pool uh, in this hot summer night and she quite enjoyed herself and she just kind of plunked down in there and, and watched the other dogs play and uh, didn't want to come out. Okay, now I get back to my brush. Edit selection is still turned on. That's way too big. So what I'm going to do is make it smaller. I'm pressing the Alt key and pressing up on the tablet or you, you do some direction with the mouse. I don't know which way you go. I know how to do it with the tablet. Now I'm going to get the small thing. I'm just going to outline her ears and her head. And then maybe I'll just finish it all off. See, I, I'm getting as close as I can. And I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. It's a funny brush I've got. It's got funny edges on it. And they're hard edges. It's like it's got density on the edges. I can't believe that. I checked the brush variants to make sure I hadn't done anything stupid. Because I do that. And I hadn't. So, I don't know. It's just a strange way that paint shop works sometimes, I guess. And come down here. And we'll come back up here. And keep us close. Now I am using my Wacom tablet. I have the uh, Intuos Pro Medium here. And, and it's good. It's, uh, I can't imagine doing this the most. But then there are people who think mice are wonderful. Um, and uh, who am I to say anything about that? See, I didn't get it very good at the edge. See, going sideways like this is very difficult for me. I can go up and down fairly easily. Going sideways, eh, doesn't work very well. Okay, I'm going to make my brush a bit bigger, fill this in. And I think I've made it too big for that one area. Okay, come up here. So what do you think? I'm going to just uh, put this on pause, and I'll finish this up, okay? So uh, I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, there is the finished production. Tabitha is all outlined in red, and so is her waiting pool. Now, I've made a mistake, okay, and I did it on purpose, kind of, because uh, I wanted to show you how to get out of a mistake. See this little spot right here? Right there. I went over the line. Ooh, no, I went over the line. Terrible. And I missed it right here. So what we got to do is we got to fix it. Now, as I said, I have a hard time going this way, so the easiest way for me to work is up and down, like that. So I'm going to uh, rotate this image to the right. Okay, now let's back it out and see where we are. Come on, there, paint shop, let's go. Sometimes the program likes to do things on its own time, right? Okay, move it around a bit. There's my mistake right there. Okay, I don't know if it's still doing anything. Uh, I guess it's not. Okay, well, we'll come in here. Now, if I want to add that red, I use the... Uh, the white is my foreground. If I want to take it away, I use black. Get my brush. Now, you can see I've 
just taking away it just kind of a little bit and I went over the blue but I'm not worried too much about it this is not a precise uh, uh, example because I wanted to correct an earlier mistake and the earlier mistake was was uh, being in non-specific about what I was doing okay so there now we've got that if I want to be really really precise make the brush smaller press the alt key move it up oh geez get the white right color get the right white color okay and you can see how that works so really it's a case of now being very uh, picky in the way that it looks you can uh, you can make it f fabulous or you can just you know fiddle around with it a little bit whatever you want to do so now when you've got to the point where now it's it's out at the 100% uh, view um, we're going to rotate it back. Image left. Rotate left. And I'm going to go. Let's see here. There we go. There's Tabby. Now if I want to. Now I want to turn this into a selection. Okay. So the way you do that is to go to selections. Edit selection. Turn it off. Now we've got the marching ants. Now we can do anything we want with this. And the uh, things you want to do with it, oh, I don't know. Um, edit, copy it. And you can, if you wish, paste as a new image. There we go. There's Tabby. Now you can see I've got a few other little problems around here. But they're easy to fix. You just go in there and get rid of them. You can erase them or you can do whatever you want. Um, I can also go, um, we can go back to our original, if I can find it. Maybe it's uh, closed it out, I don't know. In the pool. Okay, there it is. I can go here, edit, uh, paste as a new selection, uh, paste as a new layer. So it's going to put a new layer on there. And I take that one off, now I've got this one. And take care of the selection, select none, and there's Tabitha in our little pool. So that's what you do, because after you've finished the painting part, then it really is just a matter of doing this, okay? So uh, I hope that helps out with the confusion that some people had. This is a fairly straightforward and easy project. Uh, you can have some that are very difficult and very demanding. Um, if you do that, just take your time, go at it a little bit at a time. And uh, if you can use a tablet, a Wacom tablet, either the Intuos or Intuos Pro or an older version, yeah, do that because you'll find that it's uh, really good. Okay, so I hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching.